the impeachment case against Attorney General Ken Paxton is a complete and total disgrace. What is up, people, the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the garbage impeachment that is currently happening in the state of Texas. I cannot believe we even reached a point where one of the most effective attorney generals in the country has even a slim shot of being removed from office for one of the most egregious reasons you will ever hear. In fact, it's gotten so bad for this impeachment case, the star witness against Paxton. Guess what? He, uh, he had a big fat blunder on the stand. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do smash the like button down below subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Now, let me be 100% clear about this. Ken Paxton, if he even, let's just say for argument's sake, he did in fact commit these crimes, which based on everything he didn't, well, we can maybe have a discussion. But here's the problem. Before that, number one, this stuff allegedly happened before he was the attorney general and the state law in Texas is a gray area where you may not be allowed to prosecute people after the fact. Either way, people knew about this before he got elected and after these alleged corruption charges, whatever they want to call it. But here's my problem with this entire thing. Why the hell are Republicans just vehemently backing it? Not just on Twitter. I mean, I've seen so many of them, I can't believe it. But you see people in the state legislature suddenly vote for an impeachment. And not because of newfound evidence. No, let's be real. He called out that garbage state speaker for being drunk on the job like he was. Because the next day, uh, the state Republicans have found enough votes for an impeachment. I mean, it's the next day they suddenly flipped on him because he called out, rightfully so, that garbage speaker. I mean, that's why you don't hear this from the Democrat side. They don't go after people, their own people, let alone, you know, whatever, just because he hurt his feelings or he hurt my feelings. No, they would never do it. Even if... Let's say the attorney general of, I don't freaking know, California, Michigan, whatever. He was, he or she, whatever, would stop prosecuting old crime, would allow old drugs, prosecute nothing. The Democrats would still not impeach him. Even if he had 500 corruption charges, they would never do it. Because guess what? Democrats, they're never going to do that. Republicans, for some reason, are still pretending to, oh, we have to be nice to the Democrats, so let's be bipartisan about this. Maybe if we if we stop this meanie, they would stop hurting us. The Democrats would. It just this philosophy, I, I'm just baffled by it. I don't get why we have so many of these garbage Republicans that even consider voting for this. And the fact that the majority of them did in the state house is a disgrace against Ken Paxton, who even if he allegedly did the things 10 years ago or whatever, before he was attorney general, think about this for five milliseconds. He's one of the only attorney generals doing a damn thing against the Biden administration. 
But no, uh, we have to get rid of him because, oh, we, he's mean and he's Trumpy. <laughs> you just, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, you would think this is like the Babylon B stuff. It isn't. So the impeachment case, you know, it's having its closing days and well, um, the star witness against Ken Paxton had one of the biggest blunders you could possibly have on the stand. A week and a half into the impeachment trial of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, the case against the conservative fighter is falling apart in spectacular fashion. I think it already did. Beforehand, the entire case was flimsy at best. This just sealed the deal that this is a garbage case. And those Republicans in the state house, when they almost have a super majority, you should be ashamed of yourselves for voting for this garbage because he called out your Lord and savior and the speaker. Why? The guy's not even a good speaker. He gives Democrats top ranking positions. I don't get why these Republicans just blindly followed him because, oh, money. Witness after witness, all called by the House Board of Managers, have testified under oath that they either have no direct evidence against the Attorney General or explain that the articles of impeachment were simply untrue. All this after Representative Andrew Murr, a Republican for Junction, Chief Manager, promised the people of Texas that a trial in the Senate would be the place where the supposed evidence of horrific misdeed would be finally brought to light. Yeah, a Republican! They're so excited to impeach Ken Paxton. This philosophy is why the GOP doesn't win. This is why we should have a red wave in 2022. We don't. Because thinking like this, it gets your base pissed off at you and say, screw you. You're doing this to Ken Paxton? The guy that's only one of the only attorney generals doing anything? Screw you. I'm not going to vote. It just, it, I don't get what the GOP is thinking here. What Are they mad that Bush lost last year? Congratulations. Instead of getting Bush, you continue to have one of the best attorney generals in the country. Instead of convincing evidence showing that Paxton abuses office beyond a reasonable doubt, those watching the trial have been met with overwhelming evidence to the contrary. The witness closest to Paxton, who had the most opportunity to see wrongdoing, have repeatedly testified under oath that they never saw the general do anything wrong or had no evidence to speak of that proved wrongdoing. For example, the prosecution called Drew Wicker, Paxton's former personal assistant. Wicker had previously told investigators that he was worried about the Austin-based businessman had paid for renovations to Paxton's Austin residence which forms the basis for impeachment article 10. However, Wicker explained on the stand that he had never seen any agreement between the two men and even testified that he had not and would never accuse Paxson of bribery. On cross-examination, the defense provided pictures of Paxson's home before the 2020 renovations and from August 2023 which showed Wicker that the res renovations he had been concerned about never even took place. Furthermore, the defense produced invoices and bank statements showing the general had paid for all the renovations from his personal accounts. <laughs> I just... You, you can't make this up. And it's Republicans spearheading this. This is what makes me so pissed off. It's not just, you know, the Democrats control the state house and they're going gun ho It's the Republicans pushing this. Can we all, can we agree now, Drew, that your concerns have been put to bed? The defense lawyer, Tony B Busby's asked. Yes, sir. Wicker confirmed. A similar sequence happened when the house called a young lawyer named Brandon Kamick to, stand, to the stand. Paxton had hired Kamek as outside counsel for the Office of the Attorney General to investigate allegations of misconduct by the state and federal law enforcement made by Nate Paul. Paxton hired Kamek because none of the employees in the office would look into the case. 
with some even claiming that it would be illegal for Texas to investigate wrongdoing by federal officials. Kamek eventually set out several dozen grand jury subpoenas in an effort to obtain information. That This action triggered several PACs and top staffers to go to the FBI and allege criminal wrongdoing in 2020, setting off the series of events that would eventually lead to the impeachment trial. <sighs> What am I supposed to say to this garbage? I mean, there's Republicans everywhere that do the same crap. Not the Democrats. They would never do that. But to their own. For petty differences. That, just for calling somebody out. This is what makes me so angry with the GOP. It's, well, it's what makes everybody pissed off with them. They gun hold this impeachment case against their own attorney general, who is possibly going to be the next attorney general of the United States if Trump wins. They go gun ho against him, and the entire case is garbage with some stuff happening five years beforehand and ten years before Paxi even ran. It's like the case makes no sense beforehand, and with these witnesses. The star witnesses of the case saying, I don't know what happened. I, I didn't see any bribery. It's a complete and total sham. And anybody that supported this impeachment on Twitter, in the Texas legislature, go away. And I'm glad that many county parties in the GOP in Texas, they are prepared to primary out countless rhinos over this. I'm glad because everybody knows this is bullshit. What's happening to Paxton? And people are just on Twitter saying he should be impeached. For what? Corruption. What? Are you freaking kidding me right now? We All the evidence says, no, Paxton committed no wrongdoing. This is garbage, and I really want to know what the real reason is. Were they trying to get Bush in the attorney general spot? Was this all about that? Because they were so mad Paxton won last year? Or are they just mad that he called the speaker drunk? What's, just what's the reasoning? How can you go after the most effective attorney general we've had in years? And suddenly flip on him because reasons. Garbage cases you will ever read. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.